Good morning, First Baptist Church family and guests. It's Wednesday, January 12th. Hope you have had a good day. Hey, I wanted to give you an update on our Wednesday night schedule tonight. It is uh, changing a little bit for tonight. If you haven't heard, uh, the water in the city of Perkins is going to be shut off from 3.30 this afternoon till 7.30 uh, tonight. Uh, that does impact us. Also, school was uh, uh, canceled for the rest of the week just due to high COVID numbers among kids and staff. So here's what we're gonna do tonight. We are still going to have church. We're just making some adjustments. What we won't have, the women's Bible study, Gideon, my wife was gonna start, and then the study I was gonna start, um, the Experiencing God study, those are going to be postponed but till, uh, till next week. Um, but we are still going to have loss of spouse, that's such a phenomenal ministry, and we don't know, the folks that come to that, uh, we don't know where all they will be coming from, and they're not going to know the water's been turned off in Perkins, or we don't know how to communicate, and for them to have the courage to show up tonight, and to have a sign on the door that says canceled, we, we man, I can't, I, I, that bothers me. So, loss of spouse is still going to meet tonight at 6 o'clock. We're still going to have a nursery uh, canceling or, uh, or postponing the adult Bible studies allows the nursery to be um, staffed less. Jennifer's down some workers. We're still going to have children's and we're still going to have youth and we will still have an adult Bible study. Um, you know, uh, the other thing is this, and you may disagree with me and that's okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that, but I don't want water to get in the way of having an opportunity to share the gospel with at least a hundred kids. You know, we'll have 100 kids tonight between children and youth. And I don't want lack of water, or actually no water, to prevent us from sharing the gospel with 100 kids. And so what we are going to do to uh, um, help solve that problem is we're going to shut down all the bathrooms except the two main ones. And then we're going to have water dispensers in there so they can wash their hands. And then we're going to have buckets of water in there so that uh, if someone uses it, they can pour that in there and flush the toilet. Um, and if there's a mess, say, so what? It's Wednesday night. Trust me, you'd be surprised what I've had to clean up on a Wednesday night. Um, but it's ministry. Ministry's messy, um, but it's a joy and an opportunity to share the gospel with 100 kids and an opportunity for someone that uh, got up enough courage to come to lost a spouse um, tonight. Uh, man, I, I, I want to make sure we're available and ready. So if you want to come help tonight, you know, we could use some help monitors, bathroom monitors. Uh, hallway monitors, uh, but we'll have, like I said, we will have Bible study um, for adults, uh, one class just tonight. And then next week, the women's Bible study, my study, will get back started and things should be uh, a green light for everything else. And then Grief Share will start their normal 13 week next week. So call the church office if you got any questions. Hope to see you tonight. Hey, also with all that's going on, if you or any of your kids um, start to feel bad, just, you know, just an encouragement to uh, stay home, take care of yourself. We don't want to continue to uh, spread this, uh, whether it be the flu, strep, stomach bug, COVID, or whatever. Hope you're doing well. We can pray for you. Text me. Let me know. want to pray for you. Have a great week.